Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kings. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick, and then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters identical in age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Munich, Germany, the Ghost. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fight. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He's here to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jujitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Watch right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Nice hammer fist. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be 
very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Back to his feet. Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Big kick land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Boy, Thai Plum. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just missed with that right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Straight punch lands. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, man, how is he standing after he ate that knee? He has absorbed so many of them in this round. And now you can visibly see some of the damage that has been inflicted by his opponent. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. Tom, stop it. Connects with a right. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, how many knees can one man take? Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. He blocks the shot. Back and forth we go here. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Wow. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice job staying busy here in the clinch. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that posture. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Settle down. Listen, you are taking way too much damage to the bottom line. All right, here we go as our next round gets okay, underway. Round round His strong yeah. leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw his full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Double leg. Stuffed. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Massive head kick! Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, what a punch. That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, nice job avoiding the damage from that elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was gonna win this fight, he was gonna have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Landed a big kick there. Look at the damage inflicted by that elbow. Just out of the range with that right hand. Slips the punch nicely there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right on the button. Huge block there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Lands with the right hand. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Right, it looks like screwed down to the Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. He's hurt! He's hurt! And just like that, the fight is over! He got him! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 12 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Well, impact. there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.